Every day we come to work and our goal is to build relationships and partnerships in a way that is meaningful, that isn't fluff. What I mean by that is the community outreach unit is not here to hand out stickers and shake people's hands. That is not what the unit does. The reality is, is that we have police officers in parts of town that have really seen crime issues, have had issues with distrust of the police, they've had issues with distrust of their neighbors, and all of that really has caused the quality of life in those neighborhoods to go down. In 2015, the city council identified a strategic plan they wanted to implement. They went through the Phoenix Stress Index, which is a measure of about 133 different criteria, very few of which have to do with crime. They measure things such as who's late on their light bill, which schools have kids failing tests in the third grade, and they identified three neighborhoods. We call them our strategic neighborhoods. Those neighborhoods all scored within that stress index as needing further investment by the city. The main goal that our officers have is to open those lines of communication in a way that they can improve the conditions in which people live. Usually in those environments, there's stress for some reason. So a really simple example, some of our officers in the North neighborhood went to a house and asked the kids, when's the last time you ate? And the answer was at school, and it was past dinner time. So not in an accusatory way, but in a concerned way, went to the parents and said, how are you on groceries? And they had none. So the officers went and got them groceries, but we worked out a long-term solution with the food bank. And now the food bank has partnered with us and the community, and we can bring them a box of food and say, okay, this will feed your family for two days. Call us if you need something else. The reality is that right here in Boone County and throughout the 32 counties that the food bank serves, one in every six adults and one in every five children is struggling with access to sufficient nutritious food. It takes so many different partners to be able to make this work that we do happen. We could not do it without those community partners like the Columbia Police Department who are helping us to identify where there is need and working with us to be able to eliminate that need as often as we possibly can. This is a three-year project. So far, there's not a lot of data, but the data we do see is encouraging. Those three neighborhoods calls have gone down significantly. There's some promise that our crime rates will go down. And these were the areas that had the highest rates. These are the areas that some would have called crime ridden. You know, there are a lot of different definitions of community policing and really it's just the cops being part of the community that they police. It's really that simple.